Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Epitome Unfashionable. Yes, it has been a long time. However, I really don't have an excuse for it, but it has been a lot of transitioning and a lot of moving. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's happened with my life. Um, I've picked up, my job has moved me to another location. So that's where I have been this entire time. Just um, unpacking, settling in, getting used to a new job. And Speaking of the jobs, I am fortunate enough to meet um, a bunch of young ladies and men who are interested in my career field. Um, if you guys don't know, I am in the United States Air Force and I've been in there for been in the Air Force for about seven years now, going on eight. So one of my new subscribers, well two of my new subscribers was talking to me about um, YouTube videos that really don't give a lot of information when it comes to females and especially ethnic females. Um, as what to prepare for when it comes to like basic training, the lifestyle, and just a little bit about the Air Force, okay? So, um, I really was hesitant to do this, but because they really asked me and I um, I really want to look out for young, lady and young ladies and men who are leaving for basic training to have a little bit more preparation for basic and for the military life, uh, that's what made me do this. I was really hesitant because I don't really like to... Uh, talk about the military life, especially when it comes to social media, uh, simply because there's so many uh, groups and terrorist groups and things like that that are anti-military and I really didn't want them to be focusing on my page like that or trying to locate me. I'm going to keep it real. I was a little scared. So I was hesitant at first. However, um, I'm more open to it because it's, it is what it is. At the end of the day, that's my job. I wear the uniform every day, so I should be more than happy to express that um, via social media, regardless of how someone else's opinion may feel about it. So as I was speaking with them, they wanted me to open up and talk to a little bit more about the dress and appearance, um, my experiences in the Air Force and basic training, and the lifestyle in the Air Force. Now, I am a recruiter now, so um, it's my job to put people into the Air Force. Uh, whereas before, um, I just had a normal 9 to 5 job in the Air Force. I worked in logistics. Um, I had subordinates that were under me, so I kind of know what to look for when it comes to a supervisor. However, I'm still not an expert. I still have a lot of growth when it comes to supervising and leading people. And i am be the first to admit that I'm not perfect at it. So um, I can just give you my opinion thus far in my career. So... With that being said, how long I've been in? I've been in for about seven years, April 29, 2008. Um, I left for basic military training. I graduated about June. I really don't remember the day of June that I graduated, but sometime in June, I remember it being really hot. Um, I'm from Houston, Texas, so it was nothing for me uh, to get acclimated to the San Antonio area because that's where the Air Force's boot camp is located. Um, so it was kind of similar to what uh, the weather was like in Houston. However, if you're not from there, I suggest that you hydrate a lot. People coming from the north down south, make sure you hydrate, uh, bring chapstick or purchase chapstick at the local BX on base or the gas station on base. I'm sure you guys, the base exchange or the commissary, anything like that, or uh, our little gas stations around the base. Um, what else? Um, I graduated tech school about September 11th. I'll never forget that day, September 11th, 2008. Uh, my job is called Traffic Management Officer. That's my original job in the Air Force. So enough about my job. My experiences with basic training. Basic training was a huge adjustment for me. And when I say huge adjustment, I mean being around a bunch of females at one time. That was the hardest thing for me. Um, I didn't like being around a bunch of group of uh, females because everybody comes from a different walk of life so the way they handle things or the way they think or the way they do things is totally different from how I may do it so that was my biggest thing when it came to basic training um, I was really alienated in basic training I really felt like that I just wanted to get done with basic get on with my career and just put that in the past and that's exactly what I did um, I do have about a good handful of females that I was cool with um, we all motivated each other, talked at the end of the day, you know, spoke about our experiences back home, and that's what kept us going and motivated and push, pushing forward the ultimate goal of graduating from basic training. So that was the only thing about basic training that I did not like. I was put this in side note. If you are not an athletic person, if you're not a social person, if you are a person who has a hard time dealing with change, basic training will be hard for you. 
uh, reason why I say athletic, uh, if you're not used to getting up, working out every day, then you're going to be in a whirlwind of trouble because <laughs> you work out seven days a week. You run every day. Uh, you do calisthenics like push-ups, sit-ups, things of that nature. Um, some days you do sprints. Some days you do long distance runs. You do work out a lot in basic training. Dealing with change, a lot of people are not able to be yelled at or be put outside of their comfort zone. A lot of people say, oh, I can handle it. My, my mom yells all the time. It's totally different when it's someone who's paid to intimidate you and to bring you out of your comfort zone. It's a totally different thing. So you have to learn how to overcome the challenges and the frustration that they're going to put you through. What I like to tell the applicants coming into my office is that they're paid to do that job. It is their job to break you down, pull you out of your comfort zone and see how you react to it. So do not take it personal because at the end of the day, once they're done with you, they go home and they're very uh, loving and sentimental with their family. So don't take it personal. It's just their job. They're kind of like paid actors. Their job is to shape and mold you and to get you out of your comfort zone and to figure out how you will react to being outside of your comfort. A lot of basic training, good hints and advice that I can tell you is uh, be prepared to fold a lot of laundry. <laughs> you know, when there's gaps and holes in the schedule, they'll have you doing crazy stuff. At least when I went through seven years ago, that's what I did, like folding laundry all day or studying, things like that. So um, those are the big, biggest things that I could tell you uh, when it comes to basic training. Be ready to overcome and come out of your comfort zone. Also, word of advice personally for me, I didn't want to hurt myself or I didn't want to be in any position where I could get uh, washed back. When I say washed back is if you miss any classes or because you go to a lot of classes every day, if you miss any classes or if there is anything that stops you from progressing or if the uh, MTIs or not MTIs if the TIs feel as if you're not at the level that the rest of the group is they can wash you back into a class that's either one or two weeks behind you where they you can reinforce that same material and then keep moving forward uh, if you hurt yourself of course you may get washed back things of that nature they threaten you all the time about washing you back so I didn't want to be in that predicament where I got washed back. I just wanted to move forward and keep going towards my ultimate goal because I knew that my family had already uh, made arrangements and plans and I just didn't want to be there any longer than what I had to. So if it's one word of advice, remain motivated, self-motivated more than anything because they will push you to your limits to where you feel like, okay, I just want to give up or some people blame medical and they go to medical hold and they're there longer than what they uh, would have been if they would have just pushed forward. Basic training for the Air Force is about seven and a half weeks so um, it's constantly changing. When I went through it was six weeks. Um, early in 2014 it was eight weeks so and now it's down to seven and a half weeks so it's always changing it's always fluctuating. That's like a list of questions that they gave me. Uh, I was at work when they were writing it down so that's why they're on sticky notes. Um, one of the questions that they wanted to know was about hair and basic training, specifically for African American females. Now, if you're natural, which I am natural myself, um, it's going to be a little difficult for you to do all your co-washes and deep conditions and things of that nature. If I were you, I would, um, I would come in with like maybe some braids or I would come in with maybe some corals or something like that to get you by for a couple weeks because you will not have a lot of time to do your hair. Now, if you are to wear weave or you can wear a sew-in as well. Now, if you're gonna wear a weave, you have to make sure that it's in compliance with our dress code, um, our 362903, AFI 362903 is our dress appearance regulation. They are very, 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 very strict on dress and appearance when you first enter into the Air Force. You have to be on point at all times. No strings, no, uh, what do they call those things? Um, hair flyaways in your hair, like everything has to be slick, you have to be presentable, you have to present a military image to the T. So um, if you're going to wear weave, just make sure that it is in compliance. It cannot be more than three inches in bulk, meaning width and length. So if you're going to wear a bun or your weave or your braids or cornrows or whatever, just make sure that they do not. Um, exceed that because they will ask you to remove those extensions out of your hair. Um, 
For me, I'm natural. If you guys want a video, I can show you. This is pretty much how I wear my hair to work every day if I don't have a weave in. But um, it takes, I have a big old thing of argon oil gel, about this big. It takes a lot of gel. It's like molded to my head. Um, so yeah, I it takes a lot of gel. Now once I wash my gel out, my fro comes back out. On the weekends, I typically wear my hair in my fro just to let it breathe from all the gel and abuse and the combing and the tangling and stuff because it takes a lot of product to get my hair to lay down like this. Um, a lot of people use the sock bun method uh, to wear their military buns. I'll show you. But yes, whatever type of hairstyle you use in basic training or the type of hair that you get, you just have to make sure that it's in compliance because there is no, uh, no leniency at all. Washing hair in basic training. You will get time to shower. When you first get there, as far as I can remember, shower time was like really, 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 really quick. Like it was in, wash the essential parts, and you need to get out. The longer you're there, the more time you get in the shower. Sundays is normally the chill day, so Sunday. Um, but yeah, washing your hair, Sundays is typically the day that you can do that. That's the day that I did mine. Uh, when I first got there, I didn't do a lot of washing my hair because I really didn't have time. But again, like I said, the longer you're there, you will get the time. Now, from my understanding, for the kids who come back on recruiter's assistance, they have told me that their TIs give them time to go to the beauty salon now. So you may or may not get the, um, afforded the opportunity to go to the beauty salon on base. You can do that and get your hair washed and trimmed and permed or whatever it is that you want to get done to your hair or flat iron, straighten, whatever. Now, for my other races or the people with the finer hair, it's really easy for you guys to wash your hair because you can buy the one shampoo and conditioner that uh, is all in one. So you can just lather it in, hurry up and rinse it out. As far as like, us African American women, we typically take a little bit more time on our hair. That's no racism, that's no shade, no, none of the sort, okay? It's just being honest. We do take a little bit more time when it comes to maintaining our hair. So washing your hair in basic training is gonna be a little difficult. Hence the fact that I said uh, try to get some type of braids or cornrows or something because when you first get there, you're just not gonna have enough time. What to pack for basic training, okay? So I have a long list that I give the men and women who leave my applicants who leave my office to prepare for basic training. They have a long list. For females, um, it's quick, simple, and short. Um, everybody, both men and women, need to pack like three to two to three outfits. Uh, nothing spectacular. Depending on the time of the year you go, you may or you may not want to pack like jeans. If it's summertime, I would lean more towards like loose fitting items, uh, no sweats, because it is very, very hot in San Antonio, Texas in the summertime. Um, so like gym shorts, no tights, no leggings, nothing that's going to be provocative. Um, showing too much skin. Also, don't show up in like an Air Force t-shirt, uh, hair color that's like purple, green, orange, things of that nature, mohawks, things of that nature. You don't want to make yourself visible to the TIs. If you stand out like a sore thumb, they will always remember you for that and you they will be on you for your whole seven and a half weeks because you were the guy that showed up with an orange mohawk, okay? So you just wanna show up with like maybe a t-shirt, plain, I always tell my people white t-shirts or just a simple t-shirt, uh, depending on the time of the year because uh, where I'm stationed at is warm all year long. So um, I tell them kind of pack like the weather that, that you're in currently, okay? Um, it does get cold there. I was there in December of 2014, so it was very cold. I remember wearing sweaters and it was like below 20 at one point. It was very cold. So if you go in the winter months, don't think because it's Texas, it's the South, it's always warm. That's a big misconception, okay? You'll go there freezing. Um, if you're flying, you need to make sure that you, whatever you pack can fit inside a carry-on because I don't think, or it's not to my knowledge, that you can check a luggage in, okay? Um, so all of your toiletry items need to be the little small sample size ones that you can go and get at Walmart and Target uh, that's like this size, okay? Um, when you get there, you will be afforded the opportunity to go to the local gas station. You want to just get you some stuff that's going to allow you to survive the first couple days and then, you know, um, then you'll get tennis shoes, all the same. Make sure if I were you, in the Air Force, you can wear whatever color tennis shoes you want. There is no uh, limitations. However, you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb, so showing up with like neon, 
hot pink, hot orange, all those type of shoes, it's just going to make you stick out so you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb, okay? If I were you, I'll stick with the neutral colors like navy blue, white. Um, also, uh, ladies, your underwears and uh, like your bras and panties all needs to be white. I don't know if that's still the, the, the packing requirement, but when I left, that's what I had to pack. And also, when I give out my list to my people leaving now as a recruiter, I also tell them white underwear that's on the list that was the list that I was given when I um, got arrived on station here as a recruiter so white underwears um, no sexy panties like thongs and things like that nature it has to be full coverage type underwears when you leave basic training you can toss them in the trash you can keep them if you want to uh, just do what you got to do to get through basic training when it comes to like um, you know pads and tampons and things of that nature Again, you can pack those stuff. Just make sure that you can fit it inside of a carry-on luggage. Um, socks, white. Excuse me. Socks need to be white as well. Your luggage really doesn't matter. I don't know uh, when it comes to recruiters. I give my people who make it through uh, MIPS, I always give them a backpack. Um, the backpack that I give them, that's typically what the people that's leaving for basic training use and that's in my delayed entry program. So um, just... If you are getting ready to leave for basic or you know somebody that's getting ready to leave for basic or you're inquiring about one, I would stick with like a neutral color or ask your recruiter to give you one. And that's pretty, oh, females, your hair ties. Um, when you pack, I would bring some with me because it's hard to find hair ties there. Uh, the little small scrunchies, it has to match the color of your hair. So whatever color it is that you have your hair dyed or whatever, it has to be, the scrunchie has to match that exact tone. Okay? What kind of makeup can you wear in the Air Force? Um, I don't wear a full face like this to work, okay? Uh, your makeup has to be really neutral, nothing exotic um, on your lips. No, you can wear color on your lips, like dark tones, nothing bright like this, eyeshadow. Um, again, has to be really neutral and toned down. Very simple, very natural looking, okay? You can't come to work with a face full of beat to the gods, honey. Yes! Full of makeup. Sorry, just not gonna work. Again, the Air Force, um, in basic training, you will not be afforded the opportunity to wear makeup. You will just not have time to put on makeup, and you will not want to put on makeup. <laughs> Our relationships leaving for basic training. Okay. <laughs> If you are in a relationship before you leave basic and you're not married, um, I just strongly suggest that you educate your partner and let them know about what you're getting ready to go through. Have them sit down and talk to your recruiter, talk to um, people in the Air Force, let them know what to expect, research online what to expect. A lot of people leave in relationships and by the time they come back from basic training, that relationship ceases to exist. So. Um, if you have a partner who is well aware of what is to be expected, um, the Air Force will always come first. So if you have a partner who understands what the mission and understands what you have to do to survive and your livelihood and your career, then you will be great and you and your partner will succeed in the Air Force however long it is that you stay. Um, it's now, typically the darker tones. Um, you cannot wear like fire engine red. You cannot have like black, white. Um, no neon colors, purple, blue, things of those nature. You have to stick with like the nudes, French tips, um, wine, burgundy, those type of colors uh, are the only type of colors that you are allotted to wear in the Air Force, okay? Lifestyle in the military. The last question, what is my lifestyle like in the military? Um, I'm not going to lie, when I first joined the military, I hated it. I didn't like any aspect of it. I just thought that it was just like the biggest waste of time. I was very homesick and I just wanted to go back to home to Houston. Um, so I was just like really ugly and really, not ugly in appearance, but my attitude was like really ugly um, because I was just so ready to be done with my four years and get out and move on. So yeah, once I grasped the concept that longevity, it will pay off in the end. I just gotta suck it up and get through what I'm getting through now it's not that bad you know um, it's just easy you know what I mean um, I have friends in the civilian sector and they're not able to afford the things that I'm afforded to do you know I know every month I'm gonna get paid on the first and the 15th I know that I have my retirement set up I know that I have um, my home paid for my fa my friends 
if they need something, if my family needs something, I can help them because I know where my stability comes from. And the Air Force affords me that opportunity. People will say something different, but that's just my personal opinion. Please do not beat me up for my personal opinion. Everything that I've said today has been off of my personal opinion and knowledge of what I know thus far in my career. I'm not an expert. Again, like I said, I still have some growth and some understanding and learning to do it uh, as a person and as an individual in the United States Air Force. So I hope this helps somebody. I hope this is beneficial to somebody. If you have any questions, any concerns, any issues, definitely hit me up, you guys. I'm more than willing to help you guys out. Um, I have come out of my hiding place to help you guys. Um, shout out to my two new subscribers. You guys know who you are that requested this video. Thank you for getting me out of my um, hiding place. Um, I was in my little habitat getting comfortable and not willing and ready to do YouTube in my new home. Um, I am in my living room space because my makeup room is not quite ready and the lighting sucks. So um, look forward to more videos in the future, guys. I know I've said this thus in the future, but uh, yeah, I'm really serious. Like I really miss making videos. I watch people's videos all the time, but I just can't get in there and make my own because my timing and my schedule is just hectic. But um, thank you guys for the people who subscribe while I've been on my leave of absence. And for the people who have asked and requested to see these videos, thank you guys for bringing me out again. So subscribe, rate, comment, send your request in if you have any more. I pray to God that this video was beneficial to somebody. If you have anything negative to say, if you have anything that you don't agree with, keep it to yourself or bring it to the light if it's going to help somebody. If not... It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. So thank you guys for watching.